Hi my beautiful Aquarius and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your October the 9th until the 16th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome. And those of you that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. Um, what were the announcements? Oh yes, I will be back to doing giveaways. So for those of you that are subscribed, I will be choosing one of my subscribers at the end of the month and you will be getting a free 15 minute reading. So you guys can always look out at the end of the month for whoever the winner will be. And for this whole week, from the from this Wednesday till next Wednesday, I will be doing um, 15 minute readings within a 24 hour delivery time span. So if you order a normal 15 minute reading, you will be getting it within 24 hours within the next seven days. I'll be doing that every day for you guys. Um, it's first come first serve basis. I will have to cut it off at a certain amount of time, but I will leave it open as much as possible each day for you guys. Um, with that being said, personal readings and everything else you need is in the description box below. I will get started with your reading now. All right, so let's see. Um, if you're dealing with a Cancer or an, a Capricorn, you guys came out in the reading. So if you want to check that out, feel free. All right, Aquarius. Show me what Aquarius needs to see for the week ahead. The Wheel of Fortune right off the bat, you guys. Good changes, things turning around for the best, things turning around for the better. If you've been in a really tough situation, it looks like you're going to be catching that break. Luck is going to be on your side, you guys. Eight of Swords, yeah, it looks like you guys are coming out of a time where you're feeling very, very, you know, this is an energy of fear. You could be feeling stuck within your life, stuck within a situation, stuck in a relationship, stuck in your career, but there's just something that you're feeling stuck. There's something that you're feeling trapped in and you're not realizing that you have the action, that you can take the action to get out of it, right? It's like in this energy, like this person is actually not trapped because there's really, you can't even see it. It's that clear and it's just like this mesh thing and they're acting as if it's like a brick wall, but really it's just mesh that he can just move over if he really wanted to, right? So this is taking control of your life and realizing that things are going to happen that you can't control but the way that you react to those things is really what matters you know normally it's a test all right so let's see some of you this is a really strange energy that I'm feeling but some of you have gotten something recently that you've always wanted something that you know or have have had a change or you're going to have a change in your life that's something that you could have only dreamed about having but instead of this making you happy it's going to make you feel fearful or it's going to make you feel you know you're going to be cautious or you're going to have a little bit of fear or maybe doubt that you can actually pull it through now that you've gotten this opportunity for some of you that's what I'm sensing here it's like something good happens but you're or it's like now that you finally have what you want what's next so you feel empty because now you don't know what you're fighting for what you're working towards so that could be the energy for some of you guys too all right aquarius whoa this is okay so you have the knight of hazards the two of cups the seven of hazards okay i get it now and the strength card. <clears throat> Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm sensing that there was a very, very slow offer. There could have been an offer that started off very fast. Now it's moving slow. You're very, very, you know, unsure as to why that's happening. Or it started off very slow and now it's moving very fast. Either way, you're feeling cautious. You're feeling a little bit unsure. You're wondering, you know, you're all up in your head here. So most of you, I'm sensing that you are a little bit afraid because somebody is moving really, really slow within this connection. You feel such a strong connection with this person that you just want to rush through. And maybe you don't normally do that, but with this person, you just don't want to risk, you know, maybe losing them or whatever it is, but you just want to kind of rush into this connection here. And what I'm sensing is, you know, this is such a genuine connection. This is such a mutual connection, but the reason that it's moving slow is because you guys really need to get to know one another. You're dealing with somebody that is very slow moving. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that is very, very slow moving, but it's because they are very precise. They have a certain way. They could be very old school. They have a certain way of doing things and they like to do it that way and they won't ever steer from that. So if you do decide to move a little bit too fast, this person will pull back even more. So you got to make sure you're going on the same pace as this person. In the end, 100% it will benefit you guys both. With the two of cups, this is a mutual connection. This is a connection that is very, very rare. Definitely a soulmate or a twin flame kind of connection that you're dealing with. Um, very mutual energies, a strong attraction. There could be very, very good intimacy if you've been intimate with this person here. A connection that 
you never expected to be so strong. When you met this person, you didn't expect it to be so strong. Some of you guys might have not even been interested in this person until you really got to know them and then all of a sudden you fell for them and you have no idea how it happened. It just kind of happened. The seven of pen or hazards here. This is saying that you guys both really want to put in the work and the effort into this relationship, into this connection. The more that you guys talk, and the more the more you put into this, the more the connection grows, the more the emotions flourish between the two of you guys. And with the strength card here, I am sensing that this is a very healing connection. This is the type of person that you can be very vulnerable around. This is the kind of person that you can, you know, you can go to when you have a bad day. They can come to you when you have a bad day. Um, this is um, a connection that's going to lead to a lot of emotional strength and emotional courage and I feel like this connection is going to really help you and teach you some things this person is really here to ground you and teach you some things and one of those things could be not rushing into relationships you know so let's see Aquarius page of cups yeah so it looks like this person if this is somebody new if this could be somebody new somebody younger water sign cancer scorpio or pisces um you definitely came on the cancer one so check that out but this um person is you know this like i said it could be the um the other way around but this is somebody who's been admiring you for a while now some of you you've been admiring this person but this person like gets like um Sounds like when they see you, they don't blink. This could be somebody that has seen you around like your neighborhood in a coffee shop or whatever it is, but it's like when they see you, it's like they're just like, and they're like focused in on you. And it's like, it doesn't matter if you're in the mall, wherever you are, if there's a bunch of people around, if they're walking and there's a bunch of people that they could be walking into, if they're about to cross the street, it doesn't matter what they're doing, they're just zoned in on you and just like locked in on you whenever they see you, it's like they're completely, it's almost like they're possessed by you. Like it's so crazy how um, how much this person finds you to be so different, so unique. So it's like your beauty is unique. There's just something genuine. They think you're very genuine. They like your energy. This is a very genuine person too. Very, very innocent person. Um, definitely makes you laugh a lot, like so much. Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, whew. So it looks like communication, it needs to happen and there is gonna be communication. I definitely sense this Page of Cups is going to be extending you an offer, which is going to bring a lot of clarity within the situation. For some of you, you could be very confused as to what's going on or how this person truly feels. It's like you can sense it by the way that they look at you, by the way that, you know, the vibrations are, by, you know, how much they're communicating with you and all that, but they haven't yet said it. So I definitely sense that they're going to be saying this and this is going to bring clarity on how strong this connection really is between the two of you. There is a little bit of energy when it comes to this person spying on you, keeping an eye on you. There could be a little bit of testing going on here, but it's like this person just wants to make sure that you're theirs and you're only theirs. And even if this is a beginning process, it's just that they're looking out to see if they have any competitors, if they need to maybe move quicker, if they need to act in a different way, because this person really wants to make sure that that, you know you're the only one that I mean that they're the only one that you're talking to and even if you're not dating I mean this person can't really expect that but it's kind of what they want so they're definitely spying on you checking on your social media just you know it's nothing serious it's nothing obsessive it's more just like curiosity and just wanting to know because this person really really wants you and they don't want to and it's also because of the fact that they know that they have to move slow because they have things going on and they can't expect you to just kind of wait around for them right so they're just kind of making sure that you're still you know interested so maybe, oh ace of hazards yeah so definitely i mean you have so many oh my gosh beautiful this is a brand new beginning um this is the offer of a stable relationship here it's like they're spying on you testing you it's like they're going to give you clarity regarding the situation you're going to give them clarity about how you feel and then after that said they're going to test you to really see if what you said was true and depending on how much you're like talking to other people or whatever whatever they can see that's going to base um whether they give you this offer or not <laughs> Like that's how this person works. Um, but I definitely see something stable, a brand new opportunity here. For some of you, this is a new opportunity within your work, within your career here. Some of you could have been listening over, you could have overheard a conversation about an, a new opportunity regarding your career for some of you here. But with this Ace of Hazards, this is the beginning of a brand new relationship. This is saying that there's a lot of potential between the two of you guys um, for this connection to really flourish here. Absolutely beautiful energy. All right. 
the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups here. So there could be some sort of lifestyle changes or changes, um, things emotionally that need to be released between you or this person in order for this relationship to flourish here. But there is something that needs to be left behind, left in the past or healed from. All right. So you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius or I have Leo as well. All right. So if you, oh, so temperance and the Hierophant. So that was for the Sagittarius. I am going to pull another one, but this is all about, you know, commitment. This is about things taking a huge turn, balance being restored after a long time. You know, you might have had to have a lot of patience within this connection, but you're finally getting the commitment that you want. This is all about marriage here. All right. Oh, okay. Justice. Yeah. So you're getting what you want. You're getting what you want. And we have the Queen of Swords here too. So you could be, um, you know, speaking up just with this ace of swords here, speaking up about clarity about what it is that you want within this person, and then you're going to realize that all you had to do was speak up the whole time to get what you wanted. Um, because justice is going to be served, so whatever it is you're asking for, you're going to get with this uh Sagittarius here. Beautiful, I love it. And if you're <clears throat> dealing with a Leo, dealing with the Leo the star if you're dealing with the Leo this person sees you as a star like I said there's gonna be a lot of healing energy around this connection the connection can be very very intimate um, this person wants to put in a lot of work and a lot of energy and time into this connection they see you as somebody that is surprised that you know they want to make sure that they have because they love the way that you make them feel they love the energy that they have with you they love the vibration and they love how genuine and sweet it's like genuine and sweet is what i keep getting like they just they think highly of you and they speak highly of you too which i really like about this person all right so let's pull some oracle cards for you guys what can we get from my beautiful aquarius it's time to release negativity full moon and scorpio absolutely that eight of swords energy you know release it as soon as you release that and you replace it with something positive even if that's not how you're feeling you know cur currently eventually you'll start to feel those things because you're going to be you know imprinting them in your mind some of you should listen to positive affirmations fall asleep to positive affirmations and it will subconsciously rewire your brain with so all your negative thoughts will turn into very positive thoughts without you even realizing um that's something that i did and it literally changed my whole life so you should try doing that just fall asleep to look up sleep meditations and then type in whatever it is that you want whether it's to release um things from the past positive thinking to bring in whatever just whatever it is that you're looking into and um you'll start to notice the difference but yeah so the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and capricorn some of you guys could be dealing with the capricorn or scorpio or have those energies within your or placements within your own chart here but definitely you know the more the closer i mean the closer you get to releasing those toxic cycles the tough cycle or the Sorry, the closer you get to releasing those negative energies, the tough cycle, the quicker the tough cycles are going to end, you know? So I really feel like that's the only thing that you really need to do is just work on your inner strength, work on your inner courage. Everything on the outside, the physical looks good, but you need to work on the inside. Um, I do sense really great love coming towards you that you are going to be manifesting though. This is a beautiful reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you would like a personal reading, everything you need is in the description box below. For the next seven days, I will be doing... Um, 15 minute readings within a 24 hour turnaround time. So make sure you um, take advantage of that. First come, first serve. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.